सॉल्व x स्क्वेर वाय डबल डैश प्लस एक्स वाय डैश प्लस नाइन वाई इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स स्क्वेर प्लस साइन ऑफ थ्री इन टू लॉग एक्स ओके नाउ सोल्यूशन फाइंड दी कंप्लीट सोल्यूशन कंप्लीट सोल्यूशन इज वाई इज इक्वल टू वाई सी प्लस वाई पी वाई सी मीन्स कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन एंड वाई पी मीन्स पर्टिकुलर इंटीग्रल नो एड इट यू गेट कंप्लीट सोल्यूशन ओके ना ना यूजिंग फाइंडिंग द कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री फंक्शन एंड पर्टिकुलर इंटरवल बिफोर वी यूज द कोचिस दिस इज ए कोचिस लीनियर इक्वेशन स्टेप्स ओके नो कोचिस लीनियर इक्वेशन दिस इक्वेशन इज ए कोचिस लीनियर इक्वेशन ओके नो दिस इज कोचिस मीन्स पुट टी इज इक्वल टू ओनली लॉग एक्स ओके नाउ और Here should t is equal to x only. Now assume the results. So we have assume the results. X y dash x y dash is a a into d y a is a one only d y. And second one is x square y double dash is equal to d into d minus one into y. Now in this d stand d by dt okay now this is equation uh, becomes the given equation becomes means substitute these values in this given equation okay now first is x square y double dash is substitute d into d minus 1 uh, y is it a common okay Plus x y dash x y dash is a plus d plus nine into y is a common. Take outside. Now three x square x means e raised to t. X square means e raised to two t. Three into e raised to two t plus sine sine three and log x means log x is a t sine three t. Okay. Now these are using. A Cauchy's linear equations. Now, open the bracket. Minus d plus d cancel. D square plus nine remaining. D square plus nine into y is equal to right hand side. Means three into e raised to two t plus sine three t. Okay. Now find the complementary function. So before we find using uh, axial equation is only take axial equation m square plus nine equal to right hand side is a zero. Axial equation. Find the roots. Now, therefore, roots are m is equal to plus or minus 3i. M square is equal to minus 9, or m is equal to plus or minus 3i. Now, this is a complex roots. Now, now complementary function is y c is equal to alpha is zero. Only beta is there. C one cos 3t because d stand d by dt. Take 3t. Plus c2 sine 3t. This is a complementary function. Now go to the particular integral. Y p is equal to phi of x plus f of d. Phi of x means this is a phi of x. Uh, sorry, this one. This is phi of x and f of this is a f of d. Now particular integral is 3 into e raised to 2t plus sine 3t divided by f of d. f of d means d square plus 9. Now separate two terms numerator section. 3 into e raised to 2t divided by d square plus 9 plus sine 3t divided by d square plus 9. Okay. Now called this one is p1. Okay. This is a p1 and this is p2. Separate. P1 and P2. Separate, solve it. First is P1. P1 is 3 into e raised to 2t divided by d square plus 9. Okay. Now e raised to a x upon f of d means this is a d is equal to direct a. A means what? A is a 2. D is equal to 2 substitute. Now 3 into e raised to 2d divided by d square is means 4. 4 plus 9 is equal to 3 into e raised to 2t divided by is a 
okay this is p1 now go to the p2 next page p2 is equal to second one is a sin 3t divided by d square plus 9 so in this case you take d square is equal to minus a square a means what sin a t this a is a 3 minus 9 it is not a plus 9 minus separate a square is separate okay minus 3 square is a minus 9 sin 3 t divided by minus 9 plus 9 okay sorry sorry sin 3 t divided by 0 denominator is a 0 denominator part is a 0 and this is continue denominator is, a, is 0 you multiply by t in this next step you multiply by t and sin 3 t divided by f dash of d this is f of d f dash of d means 2 by uh, sorry 2 d only this is 0 differentiate this one only this, uh, denominator part 2 d now d stand differential operator and 1 by d stand inverse differential operator means 1 by d is equal to integration and this is equal to t by 2 integration of sin 3 t with respect to t okay and this is equal to t into integrate uh, t by 2 into integrate sin is a minus cos 3 t by divided by constant constant means 3 and this is equal to minus t into cos 3 t by 6 this is p2 now complete uh, particular integral is p1 plus p2 means add it p1 plus p2 p1 is 3 into e raised to 2 t divided by 13 plus p2 is a minus 3 into cos 3 t divided by 6 okay now now complete solution is y is equal to complementary function plus particular integral means y is equal to complementary function is is a c1 cos 3t plus c2 sin 3t and the particular integral is plus 3 into e raised to 2t divided by 13 minus t into cos 3t divided by 6 now final y is equal to c1 cos t now t means what t is a log x and x means e raised to t okay now c1 cos of 3 t means log x plus c2 sin 3 t means log x plus 3 into e raised to t is x e raised to 2 t means x square 3 x square by 13 minus t means log x into cos of 3 log x divided by 6 this is a required solution